and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. There's no, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your urgent ancestor spirit messages through tarot cards. Now, Libra, I also did your spirit guide, urgent spirit guide messages, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. And I also do your weekly general zodiac reading sign for your zodiac sign, obviously, Libra, uh, <laughs> general messages, which I'll leave a link to over there as well. But when it comes to any of my readings, Libra, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it, my beautiful Libra. And if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, I would really appreciate it, Libra, for you to take that extra time to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all to see the comments. And then also... I'd really appreciate it, Libra, for you to take that extra time to leave me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. Um, and then finally, my beautiful Libra, uh, I just want to say that I don't feel as if any type of tarot reading, any type of tarot card should be making decisions in your life. I believe tarot cards are here to give you some perspective, uh, some food for thought as you go throughout your days, but never to make a decision in your life because ultimately the decision is yours to make, not mine, not these tarot cards, not this tarot reading. Nobody that you, that gives you a tarot reading should be making a choice in your life because it's your life to live, not ours. So, with all that being said, Libra, let's start getting into your reading. Interesting how you have the sun come out twice for y'all, right off the bat. Um, but we're actually going to um, put these to the side for a moment, uh, my Libra. And then we're going to get into these animal oracle cards before anything else. Now, Libra, I feel almost as if that you had this uh, animal card come out for you before, the koala spirit. Now, this card says it's number 35, so it's 8 in numerology. And for this, it's like this... It's, <laughs> I just got jumbled with my words. <laughs> Libra, don't mind me. With this, it's like saying spirit has a plan. And it kind of throws me off with this falcon card as well. Because it says act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without... I'm not going to try to pronounce that word, Libra. I know some of y'all have heard me try to pronounce it. Equi equivocation? Equivocation. I think that's how you say it, actually. Ooh, yeah, look at me, girl. Um, <laughs> it throws me off, though, because it's like, Koala has a plan. Koala has a plan. Spirit has a plan. Your ancestors have a plan for you, Libra. And then when you have it with the Falcon card saying to act on the opportunity, it's almost like, Libra, you kind of already know what it is that you need to do in the sense that there's some type of opportunity, something, some type of project, some type of idea, something that you've been considering, right? And your ancestors, Libra, are essentially just telling you to act on that opportunity for you to start just doing it, essentially, right? What is holding you back, right? Is there like an insecurity of where... <sighs> Here's the thing, like, I can't help but feel like, Libra, there's some doubt here. Because when your ancestors are trying to tell you, where it's just like, hey, like, we have a plan here, just take that leap of faith, just jump. Very much so that fool energy, which used the fool card used to follow you quite a bit, Libra. And now that I'm thinking about it, in your past few readings, several readings, actually, I don't feel like the fool has popped up for you. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't feel like it's popped up for you. I'm also a Libra, so I sometimes keep track of my own readings that I do, just because. Um, but but yeah, it's interesting with this dynamic. This is these two cards right here is kind of just telling you to take that leap of faith. Very much so um Queen of Wands energy with this dynamic. So it's just like what Libra, let me know what's going on. What has you hesitant in terms of acting out on some type of opportunity, acting on some type of idea that you have coming towards you, right? With this boar card coming in as well, face your problems head on with confidence and courage and you will emerge victorious. So 
yeah, this is just like going in with confidence, going in, uh, just charging through, just essentially just doing it, Libra. Just going, taking charge and just doing it. Um, so what can, like, what can we in this reading and what can your ancestors do and what can you do, Libra, to um, own this energy more where you decide to act on the opportunity? Are you feeling anxious or scared about it? Um, do you feel like you just want it work, like it wouldn't work out? Like what is going on here? Libra. So we're going to put a tab on those and then we get into these beautiful tarot cards for you, Libra. We have the Sun card, the Queen of Earth or Pentacles in normal tarot. We have the Hierophant. We have the Six of Wands. Beautiful cards, Libra. The Hermit card and the Sun card. Again, for you, Libra. So how do we break this down? How do we want to dissect this reading for you? So I feel like we want to start with these two, actually. We're going to start with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Earth, well, the Queen of Earth, I guess. The Queen of Earth is a card of usually a more, uh, a car, uh, an individual who is practices a little bit more solitude. The Queen of Pentacles also is an individual who um, is self-sufficient. The Queen is able to take care of herself. Um, I also kind of associate the Queen of Pentacles as someone who is more in tune with um spiritual energies because that's why um she is able to well part of the reason probably why she's extremely content with being by herself and being self-sustaining is because um she keeps the company of nature she keeps the company of uh this her guides and all of that and partially i mean i would be willing to bet like partially her success that she has with her self-sufficiency she can attest to um her guides and those that she works with. And then you have the Hermit card as well. Similar energy and more of a sol obviously a solitude energy, but it is a card of self-reflection as well as a card where, and I know actually now that I'm thinking about it, Libra, you, there was this push for you to do something on your own or like taking action on something where it's just you and yours, Libra. I know for some of you guys, last week especially, Libra, you guys were in this process um, of clearing out energies, clearing out things that no longer were serving you, clearing out habits, people, like everything in the sense of where it's like any distractions that you had, anything that was enabling you to not, um, cert that wasn't serving you to your highest good, you were in this process of clearing away from it. And I kind of see you successfully doing that with these two cards because it's like, um, you cleared away, uh, stuff that was no longer serving to you or serving to your highest, uh, good or like trying to help elevate you and where you're trying to go libra and you now are like in this place of um <laughs> i hope you don't take this as insulting libra but um i'm getting like very much so like mad scientist vibes here where it's just like you lock yourself away and um you just are like working like a mad scientist creating like a mad scientist um to have some of your best work out yet but it requires you to just go a little inwards, right? Not have any distractions. I feel like you Libras are really building up for something great and your ancestors are really just trying to have you lean into that more, right? Because there's something more that you can do. Well, yeah, you have that reserved energy. Why is this card trying to come in? Ladybug came in as well. I didn't mean to pull this one. I didn't mean to do these two lead cards, Libra, but I was looking at the deck. I mean, I was looking at the deck. Obviously, you watched me pull that extra one out for the boar card, but then I accidentally pulled out this ladybug card, which this ladybug card says, this is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all the good things in your life. So literally, Libra, this is all about just taking action and then you will have such good things coming forward towards you, right? Um, with this ladybug card, I always associate, I mean, this is just a personal thing and maybe it's just like my own personal association, but I personally associate the ladybug as a sign from spirit as well. That's, you know, how some people will associate like a white feather from a message is a message from your archangels, so on and so forth. That's how I associate the ladybug. Whenever I see the ladybug, I'm like, ah, all right. Uh, some type of spiritual force is with me, walking with me at this time. So, um, what happens when you take that action, Libra? What happens while now that you're in this place of where you are probably like your most creative or your most productive, right? Then we get into these beautiful cards, right? The Hierophant I will touch on first because I feel like this is the um, the result of you uh, becoming a little bit more introverted and taking away the distractions. You get more in touch with your higher self. It's almost like Libra 
through you kind of um yeah i feel like you're just tapping into like your most like this is i feel like it's just such a productive time for you libra but it's almost like um like you're not wanting to take action on it or really take full advantage of it for whatever your reason is i don't know if there's just like a hesitancy and um wanting things to like work out in a way like i don't know it's interesting let me know in the comments below what's having you uh freeze almost because then we have these i mean we'll call it like with these cards right here we have um the sun card is the best card in the deck and you got it twice now uh, actually, did I even tell you to write down the numerology? Yeah, I did. Number eight for numerology, Libra. <laughs> I apologize. Um, so, yeah, with this, it's like, it's the best card in the deck. This is like, I mean, I'll even read the card. It says, a happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, and have confidence in yourself, Libra. Have confidence in yourself, because it's going to work out. Like, when you have the sun card coming in twice for you, Libra, especially with this Hierophant, right, it's really all about, like, you have easily have it in the bag of being able to create such abundance being able to bring in forth such blessings into your life and your ancestors are trying to just get you to wake up to that in the first place so um with this i just want you to keep in mind of just the need to take action of sorts so as well with the six of wands as well this is the victory card libra i wish like i'm not, I'm not i don't know why i said i wish but it's like <laughs> this i'm not making this up right even like the meanings of these cards are all like really beautiful positive cards and it's just all reliant on you taking action and fully like immersing yourself in this energy immersing yourself in um going for like whatever it is for you like right i've been speaking libra in the sense of like um opportunities or like um in the sense of like financial matters and and all that but it, this is such an energy of where it's just like <sighs> libra <laughs> i don't know i'm just like almost getting like slightly frustrated because it's just like a it's just like i keep hearing like untapped potential just untapped potential and it's just like because you don't tap into that potential then like you have all these positive cards not coming into fruition i also want to point out this hierophant also represents um usually this is a pretty good card to have when it comes to like contracts of sorts or doing something long term as well so with this it's like um yeah it's just <laughs> i I'm, I'm i guess i need to stop because i'm just being repetitive at this point libra but i really hope it like drills into you where it's just like truly libra whatever it is that you've been hesitant on going all out on go all out because it's so beautiful just go all out honey so um yeah beautiful starting spread libra let's see um let's see i mean we talk about the blessings right off the bat right but let what else can we um what other messages because does libra have uh to look out for right what is like else that should libra do to really tap into these blessings right Hmm, it makes sense to see these cards though, doesn't it, Libra? <laughs> you know, I apologize saying I I'm sorry for repeating myself, but I feel like I'm about to just do the same exact thing again with these cards, Libra. But it's a good thing though. I know a lot of people don't like to hear repetitive messages, but I use a multitude of decks for, I mean, a lot of reasons, but one of the main reasons being that it takes away the skepticism of something just coming up by chance right if you had only like one star sun card come up then it's just like okay yeah uh maybe but then you have two sun cards coming in for you so it takes away the um and then the victory like all these cards coincide with each other beautifully so it takes away the uh potential thinking of being like well there's only so many cards in a deck so chances like what are the chances of it coming out right when you have the same messages repeating themselves over and over and over again and eat a different deck it lets you know that this is something Something real that there is something here libra so please pay attention high priestess you already know this this is confirming what i was saying before this is something that's already been in your mind honey uh, you probably haven't been tapping into your intuition in this because or perhaps libra there's some, been some doubt in regards to this where it's just like you like you've been doubting your intuition because it's like you probably have like a gut instinct or a gut feeling about this idea or something but then this uh the devil card comes in and i actually in the normal uh in this in this tarot deck the devil card comes like the shape that the devil comes in as is called the ego card which i actually just want to show you libra um 
because I feel like it's actually relevant to this reading in the sense that like you ego comes into play. Now I know I triggered a lot of Libras the other reading where um, I talk about uh, not allowing your ego to come into play, Libra. And then I got so many comments actually where people were saying, I don't have my, like my ego isn't a problem or what have you. Funnily enough, that's kind of like counter, like proves my point when you feel like you yeah, feel the need to defend yourself. But what I mean by ego, because I feel like a lot of people don't understand, uh, like they take ego and it's just such a surface level thing when it's not. The sense of ego comes in, ego comes in in a lot of different ways, not in just the sense of like self-serving, uh, right? The ego comes in where it's telling you where you feel like you already know a narrative, where you feel like, like, you know, for example, you feel as if you, if you took that leap of faith, you feel like you would, you would fall flat on your face, right? That's your ego coming in here. Your ego can sometimes come in and mis like come in in the form of like your intuition. And you feel like you're listening to your intuition when in actual, in actuality, it's your ego speaking for you, trying to make actions to keep you in the situation that you're in now, trying to keep you comfortable. So <laughs> hopefully with this, it doesn't upset too many more Libras, but I am going to just stand by what I say before Libra. And it makes sense because it's still the same messages from your readings. There is something in your mental state that is keeping you blocked, that is stopping you from being able to claim all those positive cards that we see here, Libra. And so, I mean, maybe this message doesn't resonate, honey. <laughs> that part doesn't resonate, but it's just like, you know, I guess it is what it is, right? I'll put a stop. We'll put this to the side now. Um, but yeah, this is action. The judgment card, it is taking action. Like Libra, this is just all about action. Ace of Pentacles, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. With Once you take this action, the Wheel of Fortune starts turning in your favor. It starts bringing forth these blessings in tenfold. Um, and that's when you get to your, uh, uh, I know in this deck it doesn't show as a cornucopia, but the Ace of Pentacles is usually a card viewed as a cornucopia of sorts. So really Libra, your ancestors are just trying to say like, they, they don't like, there's nothing that your ancestors really need to do to bring these blessings forward. It's kind of just like the ball is in your court Libra in the sense of where it's just like, it's all here ready and waiting for you to claim that claim it it's just a matter of you taking some action getting out of your head with this ego card honey and tapping back into your intuition tapping back into uh the spiritual side of things where it's just like you know and when i say tapping into the spiritual side of things if you're feeling like a little bit lost or misguided or just not sure what to do you know i always just tell people meditate connect to your spirit guides because they will not lead you astray and so I don't know. This ego card keeps coming in and trust me, like I don't purposely, like obviously I'm shuffling the cards. I don't just like take a uh, great pleasure in just talking about ego when I'm a Libra as well. <laughs> so it's just like, it's not like I'm just trying to chastise and coming from a judgmental place. I like, I'm coming from, I'm speaking from a place where like, I don't know. I, I just, and I'm really honing in on this part Libra just because it's like, especially for this message to come out again after I, from my previous readings, it's really like your ancestors are like kind of like honing in on the same exact thing that I was telling uh, Libras before. And so it's just like, when you have all this good here, Libra, all these good cards, all this positivity, very much so like, this is like your four of wands. Like it's already there. You just have to walk through and take action on it. Um, I am going to just like, <laughs> I guess that's where I'm, why I'm feeling so persistent because it's just like, there's so much just waiting for you, Libra. And it's so much and it's just like a matter of you just taking action. Come on now. I know like right now, maybe I'll upset a few of you guys, but later down the road, if you actually take heed to these messages that your ancestors say and really address this ego, I really feel like you will be, you'll be thanking me in a few months from now, once you actually get to your sun moment, right? Once you have that victory with that six of wands. So beautiful, beautiful cards, Libra, beautiful cards. Hopefully these messages resonate. Hopefully I didn't step on your toes too much. <laughs> if you enjoyed this reading, Libra, be sure to leave me a like and subscribe. Um, also, I would really appreciate it, Libra, if you were to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. But until next time, Libra, I love you so very much, and I'll connect with you soon, hopefully in the future.